Uh, well, you've said it all. The markets, the downside momentum just continued. Today we saw the NSE index lose 1.1%. Again, similar to what we saw yesterday. Join us in the studios to get a sense of what exactly is driving this movement. It's Ayo Akiwumi, who is head of research at FSDH. Thanks, Ayo, for coming on to the program. So you tell me, is there any new factor in play right now that is driving this increased downside momentum? Thank you very much, Wally. Um, I think at the moment we can link the current performance in the NSC to various factors, um, but lately the one that we can actually link it to now is actually the, the release of the um, commercial banking you know, guidelines and the release of the merchant banking um, guidelines, which Sarah Bank released sometimes last week. Mm. Currently they have repealed the universal banking model. They are going into specialized banking, commercial banking, and um, you know, merchant banking. Merchant banking currently, they ask them to have a capital base of 15 billion naira going forward, which we take effect from October 4th. Um, mm -hmm. That is not actually shared as fund. It's actually. Which is what it was before. Yes. The new factor now is paid up capital. Paid up capital. Right. Okay, which a, a company can actually have 30 billion naira shared as fund, but the paid up capital may not be up to 15 billion. So you think investors are thinking about this and seeing how it affects banks? Yes, I think, I think that um, a number of Asian houses in Nigeria, big ones among them, had been um, looking for an opportunity to transform to um, merchant banks. Okay, so for now, I think what they want to be doing and what investors want to be doing is to say, let's conserve our capital, let's sell off shares and wait till when these guys want to be raising money to meet up that requirement to enable them to do that, which I think is a good business. And a lot of them who are currently issuing houses, businesses, they want to transform to that one, mm. it's a good business for them. And uh, because there's nothing that an issuing house or financial advisory services firm is doing in Nigeria today that will not be covered within that um, uh, framework, that guideline. So what, that's what I think we are having in the market and the part that we're having in the market. And I think going forward, it may continue like that the next few months until new money is coming. From foreign investors, they are looking at elections, how it's going to play out before they come into the market to play again. And that's what we think is responsible for mm. the current trend we have in the market. So serious headwinds to uh, navigate over the next few months. Anyway, let's look at um, earnings numbers now. Like um, Eleni mentioned earlier, Dangote Flower released a series of results um, over the last um, two days. Tell us, your, give us a sense of your thoughts on those numbers. Yeah, um, yesterday they released full year result for the period ended December 2009. We thought that result was long overdue. Absolutely. Um, and that's the same trend that have been re um, we have been observing in them. In 2007, they released it in December. 2008, they released it in November. Mm. 2009, now they are releasing it in okay. uh, September. I think it's a good result. The, the model of the Business is very is very good. Mm. The product in which they are operating in, basically food and you know packaging materials, have good market. The population of 150 million um, Nigerians, there is strong demand for their product. But at the moment, if you look at the performance of the stock yesterday, it was on offer. Immediately the numbers were released, it went on bid. But immediately the benefit was released, it went on offer. And so again, the fact that, at that dividend. yeah, and again the fact that. Um, Maybe there are some provisions which the auditors forced them to make, all right? Mm -hmm. As at Q3, they had released a full uh, um, PAT of seven billion era. They ended up recording five billion era mm -hmm. dividend. I mean, um, PAT to end the year, mm -hmm. okay? Which is lower than what they had reported in Q3. So maybe the auditors forced them to do that. We have been trying to speak with them to get a feel of what actually happened, but we have not been able to get through to them. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good um, company to release another one today, which was an improvement over what they had yesterday. Mm -hmm. But going forward, I think we should have good performance from them. Mm. Well, give us a sense of what exactly has changed. Because obviously, um, it's one of the top performers this year because um, it's gained about 70% year to date. Um, looking at where the market is today, that's, that's phenomenal. But give us a sense of over the last two, three years, even though the numbers have come out late, we've seen that they've been steadily improving. But what exactly is happening in Dangote Far? Okay, I think, like I mentioned earlier, we have not been able to speak with them you know, since yesterday. But if you look at their business model, they have, um, the mm -hmm. business is actually two businesses. Number one, mm -hmm. they have food, and number two, they have packaging materials. Now, there is like a ready-made market demand for their packaging business, which actually has a 2008 account, accounted for about 
18 percent of their turnover mm. you note that uh, all other product they have the 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 packaging um harm is supplying them the materials to for the packaging the cement arm too of course by the time that Dangote cement uh, in nigeria today are control about 50 percent of the market so it's a ready-made market for them and again in the last one year there has been a, a sort of stability in the foreign exchange market which has helped them to reduce the um, you know volatility that um, came to them about two years ago when, in which case the number of them lost money through you know um, exchange rate loss okay so yeah. for now all those things are out of the market mm. demand strong demand for their product the completely too dunk the flour is expanding mm. and they are equally looking in what to cut some costs and that's where we have at moments 